Introducing the best kept secret in investigative techniques. A detective in a box that will make your tracing work easy. A unique all new system for tracing subsurface water lines and locating leaks. The Pulsar 2000 Line Tracer. Hello, my name is James Snead, the owner of Metroplex Leak and Line Locators. Since 1989, I've been successfully using the Pulsar 2000 in my leak locating procedures. It is unlike any other equipment. A simple, self-contained, rechargeable system will save you time when locating and tracing faulty water lines. It has been my little secret. Now, today, it can be yours. In four simple steps, subsurface domestic water leaks can be located without the need for grounding or guesswork. Locating a water leak under a slab is usually accomplished in 30 minutes. 95% of the time, the Pulsar 2000 gets you within one foot of the leak. If there is ever a miss, it is usually due to the water lines being sleeved or in a beam. Speed and accuracy in performing the procedure will come with experience. The four major components required to locate the leak are the XL2 fluid detector, the Pulsar 2000 line tracer, air compressor, and geophones. The two most common symptoms of a water leak in a domestic water system are customer has high water bills or customer hears water running all the time. When a customer reports one of these conditions, it is very likely there is an existing subsurface water leak. The Pulsar 2000 equipment can be used for locating water leaks through any surface, concrete, asphalt, or soil. The first step in locating a water leak is using the XL2 fluid detector. The XL2 fluid detector amplifies the sound of water movement or the hissing sound. The fluid detector will only find the general area of the leak and will give you a place to start. Connect the pickup to the receptacle on the XL2 marked pickup and plug the headphones into the jack marked phones. The XL2 automatically turns on and off by plugging in and unplugging the headphones. Turn the filter switch to the wide band position. Place the pickup on the pipe and adjust the course and fine sensitivity control until the meter indicates somewhere in the middle. When moving the pickup, you can mute the detector by pulling out the fine sensitivity control. After repeated use of this equipment, you will become more familiar with the controls and what works best for you. After assembling the fluid detector, go to each plumbing fixture and touch the probe to each hot and cold water line. Listen to all fixtures and determine the location of the loudest sound of water movement and on which line, hot or cold. This can be done by either listening with the headphones or by observing the meter. Once you have found the loudest line and determined if it is a hot or cold water line, the next step is tracing the water lines. The Pulsar 2000 should now be assembled and connected to the water line that needs to be traced. The Pulsar 2000 line tracer is a unique way of locating subsurface lines. There is no other piece of equipment on the market known to us that traces lines like the Pulsar 2000. The Pulsar 2000 is a directional type tracer. For example, if you want to trace the cold water line from the water heater to the lavatory, you would connect to the cold water line at the water heater and the other end to the lavatory. The only line that you will energize and trace will be the cold water line between the water heater and the lavatory. 
Go to the fixture where you heard the loudest sound of water movement. Connect the clamp on the reel to the water line that needs to be traced, either the hot or cold water line. Roll the wire out to the next fixture where it appears the line may run in a different section of the house. It may be necessary to connect to different locations in order to trace the line completely. The Pulsar 2000 is equipped with a reel of wire with a clamp on one end and a plug fitting on the other end. Connect the clamp to the other end of the water line. Insert the plug into the receptacle in the Pulsar 2000 box marked jack. Take the wire that has a male plug on each end. Plug one end into the other receptacle in the Pulsar 2000 box marked jack and the other end into the receptacle in the reel. Mark the floor where the line runs with a marker that will wipe off after the leak is located. Always mark the flooring with a removable marker because the leak is not always where you are marking the line. If the line runs under carpet, the carpet will need to be pulled back. Now we're ready to go to the next step, which is connecting an air compressor to the domestic water system. Do not connect to a fixture that is close to the area of the leak. When air is put into the system, it will push the water out and escape where the hole is in the line. You will be listening for the escaping air to locate the leak, a bubbling sound or a blowing sound. Turn the water off at the master shutoff valve or meter and connect an air compressor to the system. The air compressor can be connected to any available water outlet. Turn the compressor on and turn on the faucet. This will allow air to flow into the water system. Normally, it is helpful to connect to a laboratory faucet so an opening to the hot or cold line is available. Now it is time for the next step. Geophones are like a doctor's stethoscope, except they are a lot more sensitive. So sensitive, they can hurt your ears if you're not careful. Take the geophones out of the box and set the brass sensors on the floor and the earpieces in your ears. When moving the geophones from place to place, kink the hoses to prevent the sound from traveling to your ears. Go to the area where you mark the lines on the floor and begin listening. Place the sensors along the marks where you trace the lines by putting one in front of the other. Move up and down on the line until you hear the bubbling noise or air blowing. When the noise can be heard, determine where it is the loudest by going back and forth over the leak. Go past the leak until the noise decreases. Then go back across the leak on the other side until it decreases and compare the sounds. Use the back and forth procedure until you can determine the point where the noise is the loudest. When you have located the leak, put an X on the floor at that location. You have now successfully located the leak. I hope this demonstration has shown you the benefits of the Pulsar 2000 and its easy four-step procedure to locate subsurface water leaks. This system will definitely translate into more time, money, and clients for you and your business. The Pulsar 2000 will skyrocket your profit margin because for a small investment, it can now be your secret too.